Hello there everyone. Great, great news. We finally have Craft Bucket, Bucket and Spigot in 1.8 thanks to the amazing team at Spigot. And I'm going to take you through how you can get 1.8. Now, it isn't exactly easy as getting 1.8 before, or 1.7 before it was taken down. You can't just click download. You've actually got to build it yourself, which does take a really, 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 really long time for me anyway. It took about 40 minutes for it to compile for me, but this is how you do it, and I'm going to take you through it. So first, you want to go to this link and to this link. I'm going to put this in the description and everything. Um, yeah. So you go to here, click Accept, and then, depending on what version of Windows you have, you either get the 86, 64. Um, I think the way you can check is go Start, right-click on Computer Properties, and yeah, it will say right there for Windows 7 anyway. Um, then you click Download. I won't download it. I've already got it. And then you just go through installing it, um, and yeah. Then you've got to go here. You click Download again and you download it and install it. So pretty, pretty simple. After that, you want to open up the program that the, this git bash, you click on that anyway, and you'll see something a bit like this. So once you've got that, you need to go and make a folder and, okay, so just go to C drive, make a folder, name it Spigot. Easy, just like that. Um, so everything, you on, there will only be build tools in here. So you want to make a folder and then go here and then scroll down and download this build tools thing and put it in this folder. So just imagine everything except that, is every, everything like that is gone. So there's only build tools in this folder. Pretty simple. Um, yeah. So once you've done that, you need to get out this huge, big, long command. Now, Depending on which version of this you got, um, it changes the command. So if you've got 64, you'll use this one. If you've got 86, you'll use this one. i got 64, so I'm just going to copy this command here. Um, unfortunately, you can't paste it into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a notepad and type it in. It's not that long. Okay, so... Actually, as a matter of fact, first you need to type cd space c colon um, slash spigot. Okay, so now we've told it to go to this folder that you created just here. Please ignore all these files, by the way. Just, just build tools. Paste, copy that into there. So now to type this huge long command, java underscore home equals equals c uh, backslash program files backslash java backslash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 25 java jar build tools dot jar then press enter now if you are running this for the very first time it will take a very 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 long time um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it running and I'll come back when it's finished. But there'll be a whole lot of stuff in here. Um, yeah. Now that didn't work. Hang on. I probably just typed it wrong. Let's try that again. Yep, I didn't put an underscroll. Make sure you get this right, otherwise it will not work. Do it now. And then it will run through heaps and heaps of stuff. Just be really patient. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to make sure it's going to run this time. Yeah, there we go. And it'll just go through a whole, whole, whole lot of things. Um, actually, it won't take too long. I'm just going to wait it out. It will go through a whole lot of things, but this is this is just doing the end bit, so it won't take that long for me, I don't think. But anyway, the, the cool thing with 1.8 is you can have slime blocks moving other blocks, and you've also got the 1.8 commands. I've been using a plugin called carbon which makes the server 1.8 but I mean this this is going to be the best the best thing there is now also with this it compiles 1.8 bucket and craft bucket so if you don't use spigot and you like bucket this will make 1.8 bucket for you as well I mean 
you've just, I just I can't um, what's the word express how much um, work and effort the Spigot team put into this, and they've 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 revived Bucket. They revived Bucket, even though it wasn't their, it wasn't really their thing. They revived it. Um, crazy. If you have Linux, it's pretty self-explanatory, so you can just do it yourself like that. Um, yeah. They've also updated quite a few of the plugins as well. Look, I'll show you here. Uh, just go. Did I get that right? Yeah. I did. Okay. So here they've updated a few of the plugins. So there's permissions X, Spigot Essentials, World Guard, and a few other things like that. Um, but most of the other plugins will actually work. Your old ones will work. Um, so it's building the craft bucket build right now. Um, obviously, if you have a if, if you have a really old and slow computer, it will take longer. If you have a really good computer, this will only take a few minutes. Um, yeah, like I said, it took about 40 minutes the first time I did it, but since I'm doing it for the second time, it only has to update it, so, yeah. Now, they also recommend that you come along and do this whole thing um, fairly often to keep updated, because they, I don't think they'll be telling you when there's updates, so, um, yeah. But so far, I have not encountered any problems, and I've been running my test server for about four hours, and uh, I've got all the old plugins I had on. I updated a few of them, um, but apart from that, it is working absolutely fine remember you need to make sure you get the absolute correct Java version for it because if you don't it's going to not work or something and if you do have a 64-bit computer get the 64-bit don't get the 86-bit because it will take a lot longer I can't wait until we get this working like properly on my own server because it will make it so much easier and better to use. Also, I will put the link to my own server, the IP for my own server, um, in the in the um, description. Also, you may get this warning: we have a duplicate. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to matter. It didn't really matter for me. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I think it's just saying that they've got they've already got the file, so it doesn't have to get it again. You will see this. Just um, just leave it for about. I think it, it stays there for about thirty seconds. I think. Also, um, they've updated where you can get all the um, all like the I don't know, the, all the update and stuff for um, Spigot one point eight. They've named it Hub. So, in the Hub thing. They have everything you sort of need here. They've even got the sponsors, so yeah. But here's the Jenkins and um Yeah. Stash. I like this. Plugins. So they've got all their plugins on a stash server as well, which is like amazing. So depending if you like Permissions X um, or World Guard or no sorry um, Permissions X Group Manager or whatever you can use that there. Um, I'm using Group Manager because I'm used to it, and I literally downloaded Group Manager from the Group Manager website, put it on the server, and it worked straight away. So I'm pretty sure it's getting to the final stages of Spigot. I'll show you what it's already done. Um, You'll be able to go craft bucket and then target. There is craft bucket 1.8 right there. That is 1.8 craft bucket. Bucket, craft bucket, same sort of thing. But make sure you use the one that says craft bucket because bucket itself, if you try to use that to run a server, it won't work. So just use this one here. Uh, and go to get to it, you just go craft bucket, target. Here it is, right here. Must be getting close now. Yep. 
by the way, when you've done this, you, you would have compiled your first plugin ever. Your first, no, your first software ever. If you have, if you haven't done it before, this is this is compiling something. This is what it's like. This is what all the geeks and nerds do every day of their lives. I tried to actually compile this on my VPS, um, but it's it only has uh, 512 megabytes of memory, so it ran out for some reason. I just didn't bother. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, that's it. This is done. So, to go, um, you click computer and go to wherever you had it. And here is basically everything there is. Spigot, and then you go spigot-server. And target. And then you'll have the snapshot file right there. That's the server file you would use. Um, um, if you want to get Bucket, you go to, well, if you want to use Craft Bucket, it's technically called Craft Bucket, so click Craft Bucket, Target, and there's your Craft Bucket snapshot, um, right there. Um, I will be putting these two files up on my website, but, um, to get the latest updated versions, just come along and do this, um, yeah. But thanks for watching this video, and I hope it helped, and, yeah, I'll catch you later, bye!